Hello and welcome to our three session webinar on BMO Active Trader. Our aim is to provide you with an in depth look at the powerful features and capabilities of the Active Trader platform designed to help you trade with more confidence and efficiency. In this series, we'll cover everything from getting started with BMO Active Trader to using advanced technical charting and fundamental analysis techniques to inform your trading strategies. Additionally, we'll be addressing common client questions and feedback we've received to ensure that you have a comprehensive understanding of the platform. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just getting started, this webinar series is the perfect opportunity to learn how to make most of BMO Active Trader. So sit back and get ready to take your trading experience to the next level. Let's get right into session one, where we'll cover the basics of getting started with BMO Active Trader. Welcome to video one, getting started. First off, let's talk about how to get access to BMO Active Trader as an existing user. So upon logging into the investor line platform, um, for any five star members, uh, you will have the ability to access BMO Active Trader. And how to access that, you will see an icon on the right labeled as five star. Upon selecting, you will see launch now icon. Upon clicking that, BMO Active Trader will be pulled up. So now please note that you will need to accept cookies uh, to allow this pop up uh, to access BMO Active Trader. So what we have here is our BMO Active Trader platform. Here we have many workspaces that I've actually created and customized, and you have the ability to add a new workspace. What we also see here is local time and Toronto time, and a list of symbols that you may want to have highlighted at all moments. You also have the ability to search a symbol, uh, add modules, and view the menu. So here in your menu, you have a list of features such as settings, uh, profile, alerts, tools and research, and much more. You also have the ability to open dual screen support. Now note we do support up to two screens uh, that will allow you to use drag and drop features. We also support dual screen mode, which will allow you to have two monitors and which support drag and drop modules. We are also working towards supporting more than two monitors in the near future. Now I will be diving into creating a portfolio workspace. I will click create new workspace, name it accordingly, and select check mark. Now it's very easy and customizable. I will be able to select add module and drag and drop the modules I wish to add. In this case, we'll be adding portfolio. Now we'll add a watch list. We're also going to be adding accounts, positions, and orders. So going into our watch list, here we'll be able to customize the amount of symbols you'd like to add in your watch list. Now we do support up to 99 symbols. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to select each row where you'll be able to easily identify and input a stock or symbol that you'd like to add to that watch list. So in this example, we can add Shopify on the Canadian or US side. What you'll also be able to do is create a new watch list from scratch. Here we'll select create new watch list and name it accordingly. If you select the row below symbol, you'll be able to add each symbol you'd like to monitor. Now what you'll also be able to do is select uh, configure watch list in the icon where you'll be able to have access to over 80 data points based on your trading needs. Here what we'll do is we'll focus on uh, valuation measures. So what we'll be doing will be adding beta, earnings per share, price per book, price per earnings. We'll also focus on performance. I'd want to select one month performance and one year performance and apply columns. As we can see now, our Shopify symbol has the selected data points available. Unfortunately, we do not support importing watch lists. However, adding a symbol to a watch list is very easy uh, and can be done in one click. Now I want to highlight another feature that can be done in the portfolio tab, which is simulated holdings. So as we can see here, I have a few holdings. If I double click the position, 
I'm able to add a simulated holding. I could select the number of shares, the period which I held those shares, the cost, and as well as the commission. And once you click save, your position will be updated with the simulated holding. So another key feature is you'll be able to customize the data points in your portfolio. So depending if you're a technical trader, fundamental trader, or a new trader, or just want to start off custom, you'll be able to select one of our predefined portfolio views. If you'd like to configure this, you could also select the settings, edit custom view, and similar to our watch list, select from over 80 different data points. Now we'll be going over our accounts positions and orders. Under accounts, you'll have an overview of all the accounts you hold at BMO Investor Line, the market value and account balance, along with the performance and key data points. You'll also be able to quickly filter through your positions. Here, I'm able to select the account and key data points such as book value, PL, market value, daily PL. And right below it, I'll be able to view the positions. Uh, in this example, we see I own Oxy. You'll see the last traded price, what's my position, market value, average price, total cost, and be able to easily act upon it if I wish to buy and sell. Next, I'll go to my orders tab where I'll be able to view my order history. If you did have orders, you'll be able to also filter it by order type, uh, such as partially filled, open, expired, canceled, or view just all order statuses. What we have here to the right is also trades. So any sort of trades that are open, you will be able to view those trades per account basis. This concludes our getting started video. Tune into our next video, which focuses on technical and fundamental analysis.